owner about his situation. His name is Todd Brown. He is joining us live right now uh, via Skype or via Zoom. And Todd, thanks so much for making the time for us this Saturday morning. I know you're trying to juggle. You know, you own a number of restaurants here in town, um, some very, very popular ones. First of all, how are things going? How are you guys doing this morning? Uh, you know, it's application specific. It kind of depends on the location. Uh, we're getting a little bit more traction at some of the locations than others, depending on if we can, you know, utilize um, what level of utilization we can have for outdoor dining. Yeah. Um, and you you know more than we know. I mean, first of all, just talking about the situation and what these you and other restaurant owners are having to do with is, is heartbreaking. I can only imagine um, your 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 overall feeling about you know not knowing whether or not you guys are going to be able to stay open many business owners though are starting to take a strong stance against what is happen or what could happen once again and that is the rollback of restrictions tell me where you are tell me where you are with that right now well, you're exactly right. There's a lot of establishments around town, family owned restaurants, businesses, bars that um, it doesn't make sense when you look at the numbers uh, versus the actions the governor's taking. And, and you know, it all it goes back to the same thing. I've been saying it all week. You know, we this isn't a statistical debate. This is people's lives. This is the this is the, the health and welfare of our city, our county and our state. And, and all we're asking the governor to do is let our county board of supervisors take back control and and determine the path that san diego does no they know better the situation they live here and work here you know and and uh you know when you talk about strength in numbers and and the things that we're trying to do it's not political it's just trying to survive and and keep your business open keep your employees working in fact we're doing um you know, we've coined the phrase San Diego means business and we're doing a, a, a kind of a rally show of support uh, at the county um, board of supervisors building down on uh, Pacific Highway on Monday at four o'clock. So if anybody is, is being affected by this or interested in supporting our industry and other industries like the gym industries and and uh, personal services, I mean, it's not just about mm -hmm. the restaurants, but it, it's just been so devastating to our industry specifically. Yeah, and we're not even near the end of it. That's the scary part, Todd. Uh, so Monday, I made a note of this, Monday, 4 p.m., a big rally. Um, where is it gonna start? Where are people gonna congregate first? Uh, on the west side of the building. Okay. I think it's 1600 Pacific Highway. I'm not 100% sure on that. Let me see here. That's okay. Well, uh, I'm sure we will be Pacific able to Highway. see it. Um, I just want to make a notation down um, because we will more likely be covering that event, uh, that rally. Um, you know, come next week, if restaurants uh, have to shut down the indoor dining, um, are you, what are you prepared to do? Absolutely. I have no idea. You know, we're everything's on the table right now because when when you look at when when you look at like I'll use my first restaurant, uh, Bubs in Pacific Beach, the one you know I got started with, and yeah. and uh, you know it's given me the opportunity to expand my operations throughout the city. And and if we have to close again, I'm not sure we're going to be able to open after 22 years. Uh, it just seems incredible to me that that based on statistics and some analysis that really doesn't equate to real life and operations. I mean, you're talking about shutting down restaurants. Please tell me that everyone agrees that people are going to stop congregating. They're not going to enjoy a beverage and some food together somewhere. Well, drive down, drive down the five and look at Mission Bay and look at Fiesta Island. I lived here for 30 years. I've never seen so many people there. And you're talking about I'm not saying they're doing anything wrong. All I'm saying is, you know, are they following all the protocols like are what are in place in a professional setting like a restaurant where you have sanitizing stations, uh, tables six feet apart, employees with masks, following all the protocols versus standing out on the lawn in Mission Bay shoulder to shoulder with no masks. I, mm -hmm. I, it doesn't, I can see when you look at it through Sacramento's eyes and, and you talk about what you think is the best course, 
and then you look at and see what's really happening. And, sure. and that's why we want the, the county board to take back control of our path because they, like I said, they live here, they work here, they see what people are doing and what yeah. makes the most sense for our city. And uh, in the last few seconds, would it be fair to say or accurate to say that you may very well just defy the orders and, and stay open for the sake of your livelihood? 100%. I mean, I don't think, like I said, you're putting people in a situation you can say the word defy. I don't care about that. All I care about is keeping my restaurant open. And, you know, just quickly, it's it. I could lose one restaurant. I still have others. I'll find a way to get through this. This is about our industry with a lot of people that have one restaurant. And if it closes, they're done. What happens to their livelihood, their houses, their families, everything else? I mean, it, it's so impactful in so many different ways. And, and I think you back people into a corner where you're going to find hundreds of hundreds of, of establishments and people that are going to make a choice they don't want to make, but are forced to. Todd Brown, thank you so much. Best of luck to you and all of the other restaurant owners. Uh, we will um, monitor the situation, obviously. Uh, we'll check out the rally on Monday, as well as the, uh, the personal service businesses, because they're in the kind of the same boat that you guys are in. So appreciate it, Todd. Thank you so much. In the meantime, we will go and sh eat out at your establishments while we can. I know Allie is standing by. She's dying to get back to Bud's at the beach and have um, a burger there. So thank you. Thank you.